Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Barista Warrior Pour Over Kettle. Yes, people, this company actually contacted me personally and said we have a wide variety of stuff we want to send you for reviews, and they sent me out a bunch of stuff, so I will slowly be reviewing more and more of their stuff. I already reviewed the Barista Warrior Salty Coffee, so in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said kettle. Then I'm gonna put this to the At Home with Lucas test, to figure out, is this something that's actually good quality? Does it make boiling water easier? And is it better looking than my previous pour over kettle? We're gonna figure out all that and more in this video. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Wow, that was the most packaging I have seen in a very, very long time. Reminiscent of my days at eBay when I was buying and selling. Um, very, very interesting. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So up at the top over here, you got their logo and their name, BW. This is a pour over kettle. I like that, that's really funny. Um, precise pour convenient experience that is very very cool we'll continue to look around here all right it can work on every single oh induction wow very cool method matters I like the color and the look of this here's a little schematic of what is going to be in the box cool all right method matters okay that's all let's crack oh here we go Barista Warrior. Wow, I like that a lot. I like how subtle this is. It almost looks like uh, some kind of chemistry uh, number, BW. Uh, that is number? I don't know. It looks like a chemistry thing, uh, reminiscent of Breaking Bad. All right, very cool. Okay, get ready to brew better coffee. See, the this is what I'm talking about. Companies that go the extra mile, they give, look at this, they even threw the blue in here. They didn't have to do that. That is, that's style, that's class. Big thumbs up right off the bat, five stars for this box. All right, okay. This is laminated, people. This is, I think it's laminated. It's glossy. This is not your cheap run in the mill um, safety information uh, pamphlet thing. That has some heft to it. Once again, this company actually cares about what they're doing. Wow, that is very, very cool. Oh, I just kind of went over this really quickly. Okay, so there's the kettle. All right, pour over, pour, cool. All right, definitely wanna read this, clean and clear. <laughs> Cleaning and care, wow, that was very hard to get out. Instruction guide, definitely want to read that. Wow, look at this, this is what you wanna see. This is so cool, very, very nice. You get a little overshot of what you're gonna be getting. Let's get this out of here. All right, here we go. And that's it, blue box, very cool. All right. So here is their pour over kettle method matters, people. Wow, very, very strong, solid bottom. Um, this feels like it's one piece of metal. Of course, it's definitely not. It has a phenomenal handle on it. This handle is super, super good. Um, that is a very nice gooseneck right there. Wow, that is very, very clean, nice. Um, let's go ahead and take a look up here. My coffee gator pour over kettle actually cracked the, whatever the, the thermometer was made out of cracked. I like how they have the BW right there. Um, and I'm hoping that this has good viewing angles so I can see it from afar. It looks like it's very, very small though. So we'll see just how that actually works. All right, there you go. Okay. Very simple, very straightforward. You got your thermometer that goes straight down in there. Um, of course, Coffee Gators does not do that. Coffee Gators has a little thing that you, um, sorry, it has a thing here that you flip up, you pour your water in, and this is actually tucked back along the side 
at the bottom so you don't really even see it. I'm guessing this thing comes out. Whoa, it's got a thread, people. Wow. Okay, wow, this actually threads out. That is so cool. So you can definitely replace this and you could do some super, super cleaning. I have a little bit of hard water where I live, so I will definitely have to clean that out. Um, this looks like it's just a spacer. Yeah, it just spaces it. Okay, very, very simple, very nice. I didn't even have to try to thread that back on. That is, that is some good threading right there. Good toolman work. Um, craftsman work I don't know there is the vents right there which allow for the steam to come out um, I'm wondering if those are gonna create a whistle they probably won't that's kind of old school um, but yeah this thing feels like it's built extremely solid um, definitely feels like something you could take camping if you wanted to and just throw this on some hot coals and be good to go um, once again love that logo all right coming up we're gonna boil up some water and we're gonna put this to the at home with Lucas test all right let's get this kettle a boiling so the first thing that you're gonna notice is this thing is very very quiet like even at full boil over 200 degrees you can barely hear this thing roaring and that is amazing absolutely amazing my last kettle was quieter than my first kettle my first kettle was one of those tin kettles where you could just hear it just clanging away and bouncing almost as it's boiling it was so annoying my coffee gator kettle was a little bit quieter than that but this is the creme de la creme people this is very very quiet and it boils up the water super super fast so that is a huge plus and as i'm showing right there the handle does not get hot at all at full boil um, steam wise it, you're not really getting a lot of steam coming out and there you can see it's not affecting the thermometer which is very very important because the last thing you want is for your thermometer to be completely covered in steam so all in all I have to say it's very quiet and it boils water super super fast definitely primo right here people definitely all right let's brew up some coffee people so here we go we are going to be doing a pour over and i'm filming this for the salted coffee which is on my channel right now so if you want to watch this full video go ahead and hunt for it barista warrior salted coffee all right so the first thing i noticed was the gooseneck is a little bit longer than my other gooseneck on my coffee gator and so i'm bumping the pour over quite often right here and it's a little bit um it's great though that it's longer so i have to say that after using it for several weeks now it's great that it's longer and once i got used to it it became very easy to pour into your pour over um, i was used to my coffee gator pour over kettle which was a little bit more narrow so or not narrow it just wasn't as long but nonetheless, this thing really does a great precision pour. So if you don't know anything about pour over kettles, they allow you to do a precision pour versus a typical tea kettle, which basically just has a, it's just an open nozzle and it just releases all the water at once. And it can literally push out your coffee grounds onto your counter. Um, so a pour over is designed for precision pour and that is exactly what this thing does even down to the last drop. Definitely recommended. This thing is absolutely great. Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal 
coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you, a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> All right, I've been using this bad boy for long enough that I think I have a full comp... Ew. <laughs> I thought this thing was empty. I think I have a full comprehensive review for you guys. Oh, wow, there is a lot more water in here than I thought. Hold on, let me clean this up real quick. All right, how about that for some movie magic? And I think I have a full comprehensive review for you guys. This thing is actually way, way better than I would have thought. I was definitely skeptical, as I am with everything I review, and this blew me away. So let's start off with how you fill it. So it doesn't have just a normal flip top, which I came to like with the Coffee Gator pour over kettle. Um, it doesn't have that flip top, but it doesn't need it because this is the handle and it is your thermometer. This is absolutely amazing. I love this so much. You just literally pull on it and it pops off. It's so satisfying and it's such a great way to start your morning by just pulling that off, filling this up full of water and then closing it back down. Once you do so, you put it on your burner and that's when you start to realize that this thing boils water faster than the norm. It is like so much faster than any kettle I've ever used. The base down here is made out of super solid metal and I believe that transfers up and creates a great boil. This thermometer is so easy to read. I do wish everything was a little bit bigger on here, but nonetheless, it's crystal clear and the, the fact that you can completely remove this thing is huge. You just literally unscrew it and out it goes and boom, there you go. You can clean this out. Oh look, I already got some, let me see if I can get that on camera. I already got some gunk on here. My camera does not want to film that. There we go. I already got some gunk on there. So you can easily pull that out after you've boiled enough water. You can pull this out, clean it super, super easily throw it back in there. So the build quality is amazing. The boiling factor is amazing. The way that the steam comes out of these three holes does not really affect this very much, which is really great because these can get steamed up very easily and cause you to not be able to read it. But this shoots out that way and you're good to go. The only thing I don't like tremendously is this right here. I'm having to learn how to do the pour over. My um, coffee gator kettle the gooseneck was a little bit different than this, but this one seems to be fine. It pours out very easily. Let's talk about the handle. This is where you're gonna be gripping this thing for sometimes three to five minutes, depending on if you're like me, and you never put it down. You can obviously just set it down after each pour, pick it back up, do some more pouring, and you're good to go. The handle is not a five-star handle, but it's definitely a solid Build. It's definitely a solid handle and it's not super uncomfortable. So I have to say the handle is very nice, but I'm not going to give it that stamp of approval of it being the best handle out there. So all in all, I'm going to give this thing a solid 4.8 star rating. I'm going to say that I am absolutely blown away by this thing and it, it's better than anything I've ever used. And I definitely recommend it to anyone out there who's looking for a great pour over kettle, not to mention the fact that it doesn't take up a lot of height. My other kettle was twice as not twice as big but my other kettle was about this big and believe it or not when you have a smaller kettle sitting because I, I leave these on my range they just sit there 24 7 they never get moved they don't go down into a uh, cabinet or anything they're ready to go at all times and it actually becomes a little bit of the aesthetic of my kitchen I like the look of this thing it's super super easy to clean so simple you literally just wipe it down you're good to go um, but yeah it doesn't take up much room so a very very solid 4.8 star rating recommend it to anyone buy it for yourself buy it as a gift the holiday seasons are coming up click the link down below and purchase it and uh, yeah enjoy enjoy your uh, 
tea or coffee or hot chocolate or whatever you're making with your kettle. All right, there you go. That's the Barista Warrior pour over kettle. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. If you want to join at home with Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 2K. Yes, people, on my way to 3K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.